Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I am joined by my friend Chef Eric Gephardt. He's with Kamado Joe, and this recipe we're doing today is going to kick off a series of recipes that we're doing with Eric on the Kamado Joe, featuring the different techniques and cooking styles you can do with the Kamado style grill on that Kamado Joe. And we're going to kick it off today with a little bit of smoked, cold smoked red snapper ceviche. Now when uh, Eric and I first started talking about doing this together. He said, you got to get me, get me a red snapper. I don't know what we're going to do with it. But we settled on ceviche. And this is a really cool recipe. And it's going to show you a really cool technique for that Kamado style grill, cold smoking on that Kamado style grill that maybe you guys aren't used to yet. So we're going to turn this into some jicama tacos, I think, in the end yeah. today. Yeah. Um, and it should be a really fun experiment. Um, but you can look for these videos coming up. For the next year, we're going to release one every first Thursday of the month. So let's hop into this recipe. All right, so to kick this thing off, we got to get our citrus going. And our citrus today is going to be limes, lemons, and oranges. And we want to get started by actually putting a little bit of char on our citrus. So we're going to get at the grill. I'm actually going to grab these right here from behind Chef Eric. We'll head over to our Kamado Joe. This is a classic Joe we're uh, grilling up on. And we've got this set up. The grill grates are as close to the coals as we can set them down on that lower level. We've got these coals banked to the side, so we got some really intense heat over here. And I'm just going to start laying down our citrus while Chef Eric behind me is going to start breaking down this snapper. So the really cool thing that happens when you, when you throw your citrus on the grill like this, and, and you guys might have seen me do this with our grilled lemonade as well, is you get this really great caramelization that happens. The sugars and stuff that are coming out of there are caramelizing. You're getting this charred flavor as well. It totally changes the, the flavor profile for the finished product. Smell that citrus. All right. So first thing we gotta do is take the knife and kind of go towards the head and just get off any of these extra scales that our fishmonger might have missed. Uh, there's a great deal, it's a good sized snapper. There's a great deal of, uh, of meat that everybody misses right in that head region. So our first cut is going to be at an angle right here, but I want to make sure and put my knife at a bias so I catch some of that meat. Nice clear eyes on this fish, very fresh. So again, a lot of people will just come straight here and miss all this, all this meat, okay? Next thing we're going to do, so here's the dorsal fin. We're going to come right on top of, of that and just staying on top of the spinal region, but we'll just score the skin. And we're going to ride all the way, just using that tip part of the knife. And we'll come all the way down to the tail. And now we start tracing the bones. And you want to feel and hear those ribs almost as if it was like a xylophone. And look at that beautiful flesh. And there's those bones I'm telling you about. So that's the noise that we want to hear. Okay. Now, now in order to get in here, I'm going to slide my knife and just go ahead and cut right through that tail. And now I can really see what's going on here. Uh, we're going to use the up and over method. So we've got to go over that spine and we want to catch all that meat. Okay. Coming through the belly region now. And we'll get in some bones at this point. Now I'm going to put the knife flat, little positive pressure. You don't want to mush the meat, but a little positive pressure and just cut towards the head and that's going to free it right up. Nice filet. You can see we didn't leave a lot of meat on that frame. That's really nice. We'll end up using this frame for a, uh, another recipe to make a fish stock or a fume on the grill. Now for the other side. Beautiful. So you see we're getting some really nice caramelization on that citrus there. You know, we're running this thing, it's wide open. I mean, the bottom's wide open. We're leaving the top open because we're not actually trying to like cook the whole orange or the whole lemon, but what we want is some really nice char on it, just like that. And we're going to do about half of our citrus where we're actually grilling it to get that, that flavor and that color. 
into our marinade. This is what the, the ceviche is actually going to cook in this, this marinade, this uh, acid from these fruits. So we've got these beautiful fillets now. Uh, we've cut the belly section out. We've got no more pin bones in there. Now we're gonna take the skin off. Uh, I start at the tail. I always move from the tail to the head. And I'm just gonna put a little pressure and slide that knife right in between the flesh and the actual skin. Slight angle. And now we'll pull taut on the tail and work this back and forth. And you can see how we're really not leaving any meat behind. And doesn't that look beautiful, okay? I'm at a slight angle again, continuing to pull taut. Really trying not to leave any meat behind. Let's see how we did. That's not bad. So what we're gonna do to cold smoke in the Kamada Joe is we're gonna put a very minimal amount of charcoal in there. So uh, you'll see I've got, I mean, it's, it's five or six, seven small pieces of charcoal that we've lit. And then we're gonna put some of this uh, Cattleman's Grill peach wood chip on there. Usually I use chunks or blocks, uh, but for this, since we wanna to get to that combustion rate, we're gonna use smaller wood. We're gonna treat this smoke as if it were a seasoning. So it's only gonna get, you know, three to five minutes of smoke. Uh, normally when we smoke, we don't wanna get above 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, I mean, the ambient temperature, the temperature outside in, uh, in Wichita is about 95 right now. So we'll put the actual fish on ice and that'll cool down our chamber slightly. But again, we're only gonna smoke for four to five minutes. Uh, so we're really not worried about that temperature too much, but we don't want it to get too high. Just a little bit, just kind of mix that on in there. We're gonna let that smoke clean up for just a second. We'll go ahead and put our deflector shields on. We're gonna raise our grill grates to the highest level. And then again, we've got our snapper on ice. You don't want to see that temperature gauge budge. We want that low, low, low. So let's take that for four minutes. Again, we're just putting a slight smoke on this. We're going to get a lot of that char grilled pronounced flavor from the uh, citrus that Chef Tom grilled earlier. Another really important thing to remember here is you want to open this all the way up down here. So that's got as much airflow as possible. It keeps that smoke as clean as possible. But what you're gonna see, you open this up, this smoke cleans up real fast. So again, we didn't cook the fish at all and having it on ice, you know, all, all the ice is still present. We did a great job of keeping that, that grill at a low temperature for those five minutes. Uh, we've just put enough smoke on there that's gonna adhere to the outside and give us a, a unique flavor profile. Chef Tom is squeezing the grilled citrus now. I'm gonna start cutting this fish into ribbons. The reason we chose to cut it into ribbons is A, it's gonna cook a little faster in that acid. And remember, we're not using any heat to actually cook the fish. It's just the acid of the citrus that's gonna marinate for about three hours that's going to, in turn, cook this fish. Uh, if we cut it into thin ribbons, it's gonna cook quicker uh, and it'll eat neater on the jicama taco with vegetables that we've got going on. If you want to do more traditional, you cut it into chunks. It's going to take a little bit longer time, uh, but I think this is a really unique and fun way to do it. And that's what we're looking for as far as ribbons. Really cool. Thin to win. Just want that ever so thin. That's going to cook up beautifully. Chef, I'm starting to think about sashimi. <laughs> it had crossed my mind to dig right in. <laughs> <laughs> smells amazing. Yeah, the aromas from those oranges, just on time. You wanna make sure that all your cuts are relatively the same thickness, that way it's all gonna cook in that acid at the same rate. chosen 
not a bowl to marinate this in, but something flat uh, that's going to limit the amount of citrus juice that we have to use to cover all of this. Uh, and we won't have to turn it quite as much. Still a good idea to give it a couple turns throughout the, the acid cook, um, but we're, we're ready to rock and roll at this point. I'm just gonna strain this one more time to make sure that anything I missed doesn't end up in there. You don't wanna end up chewing on a seed later on. This is gonna be perfect amount. Perfect amount. So remember, we already grilled the citrus, then we cold smoked the, the snapper on the Kamada Joe, and now we're gonna let this marinate for about, for about three hours. Guys, I gotta say, I've already learned a lot from Chef Eric when it comes to seafood and stuff like that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, we wanna put some onions and stuff in with our ceviche now, or, or we wanna wait until later? We really wanna wait till later. You know, we're, we're talking about putting cilantro and jalapenos and red onions, right. uh, maybe a little bit of sugar just to brighten this up. Uh, but we just wanna let the acid do its work. If we've got it all in there, uh, the subtleties of those brilliant flavors like the jalapeno and the red onion are gonna be lost. So what we're gonna do is let it marinate for three hours drain it and then incorporate it. I've also found out that if you add your sugar right now, it actually slows down the cooking process. Gotcha. So we're gonna wait to put all those other ingredients in. Again, right now we've just got a little smoke, the fish, and the acid. All right, well, we'll be back at you guys in about three hours, see how our fish is doing. So Chef, it's been three hours and we're looking proper. Yep. Now we just gotta get some of this juice out of here. Obviously we don't wanna squeeze it too much, but we just want to get it nice, nice and drained. And you can see how that's brightened up. Now, if we left that in the, the citric acid or in the, in the juice overnight, it would actually overcook and get mealy. So we've got a great texture here. I mean, that's just perfect. And we can tell that it's cooked, right? Because it's opaque. It's not, it's not that color that it once was. Yeah. Nice. I'm really glad we sliced this thin as well. That sped up the whole entire process. Very cool. So the fish is completely cooked. It's picked up a lot of that char flavor. We're getting a lot of that smokiness from the cold smoke. Now it's time to add those individual flavors like the jalapeno, the, uh, the red onion, the cilantro, the tomato, the salt, the sugar. All those things are going to be added. We didn't add them with the liquid because it would all become a sea of same. We want to celebrate the, just and highlight each individual flavor profile that each individual ingredient brings to the table. So let's go ahead and start by adding some, some chopped up tomatoes. Now, not only does that bring a beautiful color and a beautiful flavor, but it's also a slight contrast in texture, which I think is going to be really important for ceviche. It's going to give it a little, little crunch. Now a little sugar. Don't overdo it with the sugar, okay? Because that, that citrus is already sweet enough, uh, but this is just gonna help it a little, little along the way. And that's really, really nice looking. Maybe a little more tomato. Chef, you wanna knock in some of those jalapenos and some of those, uh, some of those onions? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, you don't like jalapenos, too spicy for you, leave some of them out, but I think that's a great amount for for you and I. Well, that's kind of the cool thing about this, right? I mean, you pick what you like in here. Oh, yeah. Add what you want. Yeah. Beautiful colors. And I know that this is just gonna give just the right crunch adding those onions and peppers in there. Oh my gosh. That's just a nice, nice ceviche right there. Again, we cold smoked it. It's not really been introduced to any heat. The acid totally cooked this. You could put that in a nice taco. You can, you can serve it with avocado. Today we've chosen to use uh, jicama and we've sliced it very thin. And Chef Tom's made little cones out of it. Check this out. So this is a neat idea. Chef, tell me, tell me what, what, what you did here. I don't, you know, we were just playing around, man. Uh, it was actually Eric's idea for us to maybe take this jicama, slice it nice and thin, and we can essentially use it as a taco shell. Um, but it really folds up into a nice little cone, and then you can fill it with the ceviche there. 
just fill it right up. And now you've got little finger food ceviche. Maybe slide in some of that beautiful watermelon radish. How cool is that? That's beautiful. like the perfect hors d'oeuvre for any summertime party. Absolutely. Chef, there it is. There it is. Cheers, Chef. Boom. That's out of this world. Fantastic. All kinds of textures in there. Mm. Because of all that extra stuff we added in, the textures are amazing. You're tasting the fish, but it's, it's got that citrus flavor to it. It's not too sour, not too sweet, perfectly balanced. Amazing flavors. Hello. Chef's got a little bit of avocado. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah, I think that creaminess would be, be really cool. I wouldn't be mad if we put a little hot sauce on there too. A little hot sauce would be great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Chef, I gotta give you a big thank you. I'm stoked to add another seafood recipe, a really simple seafood recipe to yeah. my repertoire. This is fantastic summer party food. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, it's my pleasure, and I love coming down to Wichita and uh, hanging out at All Things Barbecue. So, uh, again, Eric Gephardt, Kamada Joe, be watching uh, throughout the year. We've got a video series coming out. I'll, I'll stop back in and uh, uh, shoot some more videos, but uh, thanks to, to All Things Barbecue and check out the sauce. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see us cook, let us know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.